So boys, I got a TWAB here in front of you and lots of changes that are coming to us here in PvP as well as every other aspect of the game. Man, everything is about to change so much in the next few weeks starting on the 28th. Now I'm going to walk you through everything that's going to be happening first starting with Competitive Crucible. Guys, right off the bat, we're getting Radar back. This is excellent news. No, really guys, we needed this. Competitive is a dead playlist. And a lot of reasons why it's dead is because no one wants to play no radar when there's fun ass quick play right next to it. Another thing that's really cool is control and clash modes are now going to be added to the competitive playlist. So it seems like it's going to be more of a casual vibe to comp versus what it's been here this past season. Now the big question is what about Claymore? Well it is being retired after this season. But don't worry there's going to be another variant of Redrick's Claymore called Redrick's Broadsword. Now this weapon will automatically roll with Outlaw and Desperado as its combination, but you'll have randomized barrels, magazines, and masterwork perks that you can apply to it. So needless to say, Redrix's broadsword looks to be a better version than Claymore. How you get it? Shax is actually going to be offering a quest to get this gun. Now I know for my guys that already have Claymore, you're probably a little bummed out like, man, I did all this work for no reason. Actually, you didn't. Owners of Regis Claymore will be granted an exclusive emblem when redeeming the corresponding triumph. And on top of that, Claymore owners will be eligible for drops of Redrick's Broadsword from Crucible Ingrams, even without completing the corresponding quest. So we get somewhat of a head start, which is really nice. And I'm sure that Luna's How is going to be something similar. I'm thinking that Shaxx is probably going to offer a quest for that gun as well. And then once completing that quest, then we can get the opportunity of getting Luna How drops from Crucible Ingrams with randomized rolls. So overall, guys, I think this is probably good, man. There was a lot of people that didn't get Regis Claymore this past season, um, you know, and it's probably going to be a really nasty weapon in this next sandbox. And so giving people the ability to achieve this weapon, you know, not everyone has a full fire team to go into competitive uh, for five, six hours at a time. And so I'm, I'm actually OK with this. Now, Gambit is also adding a ranking system. If you don't know what Gambit is, guys, it's essentially going to be a PvE PvP hybrid. It's going to be like the ultimate game mode here in Destiny 2. It's what we've been dreaming of since the beginning. Don't get me wrong, I love PvP, but man, the intermix of PvP and PvE sounds amazing. Essentially, the ranking system is going to be called Infamy, and the Drifter, which essentially is the vendor, is going to be the guy that's going to offer bounties to even achieve Infamy even faster. Upon ranking up higher and higher, more things will open up to you, like weapons and armor that are related to the gambit mode now let's talk about clans real quick now i don't know if any of you guys are in clans i'm thinking about starting a community clan for my discord now clans are something that are going to be getting extra love in this next season as you know there's current rank ups in your clan that you can achieve throughout the season but now they're actually going to possess some things that are really going to help you so to start it off with guys at rank three you get increased resilience when you're in a fire team with clan mates i'm pretty sure that is just for pve how much that increase is i don't know but it's still nice any little bit of resilience to build a tank a little more damage is nice Rank 5 will grant a chance to receive additional etheric and barren resources when collecting them in the reef. Now we've already seen a lot of our armor pieces uh, are going to go back almost like to OG days and back in Destiny 1 where you need the planetary resources to upgrade them. So this is going to be a huge help and if y'all remember way back then it was so grindy to get all those resources. It's actually pretty damn aggravating. Hopefully something like rank 5 with your clan is really going to help there substantially. And at rank 6 the weekly clan milestone will now grant a masterwork core. I guess just the one core. Kind of bummed out by that. You know why not like 5 or 10 cores? 15 cores? You know I don't know. But you'll get a, a masterwork core for doing just the weekly clan milestones, which if you're in an active clan, that's not hard. Moving on, guys. Crucible Labs is going to be returning to us on August 21st, and it's going to be a free-for-all Scorch Cannon playlist. I feel like Bungie's just going straight griff ball with this. They said that here recently with Showdown as well as Lockdown, 
has been tilted toward the competitive playlist style too much. And so they want to give us something a little more fun to do. You know, it'd be better than this, right? Like Sparrow Racing with Scorch Cannons, okay? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Other than that, guys, there's a lot of other small changes, like things like reconnecting you to your fire team if you get disconnected, especially in something like the competitive playlist. My favorite thing that I saw was that fire teams can now be formed in activities and will keep you together after the activity is completed. Completed. Things like strikes, gambit, and crucible. This does not apply in competitive, but for strikes and gambit, especially when you do find that fire team that you like, if you are a solo player, being able to stay together in that activity is wonderful. So guys, those are the changes. The big ones today, no radar. Claymore is now going to be available to everyone now as Broadsword. And it will also possess random roles, at least in the sense of barrel perks and magazine perks. Gammon is going to have its own ranking system with its own armor and weapons. And clans are something that are going to really benefit you in this next season. For my fellas that are going to be in Discord, I'm going to be discussing some clan names and what we can go with going forward into this next season. I don't know what, what to choose here. It might be like the, the Swanson or something i don't know we'll come up with something guys fellas i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you think i'll link this article in the description if you want to check it out and read it yourself there's a couple of little things i probably left off here but these are the big things that jumped out to me by the way before i let you go we do have a forsaken giveaway it's also in the description guys feel free to jump on that y'all got plenty of time though we've got 14 days before i pull it but I will be giving away three copies of Forsaken. So, fellas, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.